Alchemy Kitchen and today I was lucky and found some moral mushrooms in my own backyard, growing around a fire pit actually. First time I've found them actually. Uh, they're pretty easy to identify. There is a kind of like a doppelganger, a false one. And you can tell the difference when you cut them open. You'll see this one got eaten a bit and you see it's hollow inside. So that is one thing to check for. If it's not hollow, not good. Uh, they do vary a bit in color. It is kind of hard to see in this light. Some are a little darker than others. We have saw quite a few more sprouting up in that spot, so we'll be getting more in the next couple days. But um, we're going to go ahead and saute these in some cast iron. Uh, you see there's some dirt on them when you're cleaning mushrooms. You want to avoid using water because that's going to um, make them not come out good if you put them under water. You want them to dry as possible. So when there's some dirt like this on the bottom, you can try it with a brush to get it off, or even just cut, you know, uh, just cut that part off. I usually just kind of slice it around the side so I'm not wasting any of it. Um, these are toxic if you eat them raw. You have to cook them. So uh, they're perfectly safe to eat once they're cooked though. So uh, I'm gonna get these, finish cleaning them up, and then we're gonna Go ahead and saute them and I'll show you one of my favorite ways to do it. Okay, so we've got the morals all cleaned and cut up. Try to cut them, you know, kind of in close as equal size pieces that you can so they cook evenly. Got a preheated skillet with olive oil and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw some butter in there. And real simple, you don't need to put much because you don't want to overpower take away from the actual flavor of the mushrooms. So you can put a little bit of garlic in. I usually just smash a clove like this, like it doesn't get totally mixed in with it. Some aromatics like uh, chives. And we're gonna go ahead and throw the mushrooms in. And all you need besides that is just some salt and pepper. You can put some parsley. But really that's all you need. And just um, I'm going to cook these down enough so they're, they're not raw and they become edible and tasty. So we'll come back to this in a couple minutes and see how they're looking. And after about five minutes of cooking, these are looking fine. Uh, they soften up like that. All cooked all the way through. Take the time to plate them up and eat them.